My name is Nusrat Homaira. I'm a senior uh, lecturer with the University of New South Wales Faculty of Medicine at Sydney, Australia. I'm a medical researcher and an epidemiologist by training and an adjunct faculty for the epidemiology course here at James P. Grant School of Public Health. It's been many years now, many years. Uh, I don't think I, like, right, I think within a couple of years of starting my career in public health, I've been actively involved in teaching. Uh, initially, I used to teach again at James P. Grant School of Public Health. So back in the days around, I think 2009, 8, 9, 10, uh, where I was sort of a visiting lecturer for the infectious disease epidemiology course, um, pneumonia class, that's what I did at that point of time. And I was also very heavily involved in a clinical epidemiology course uh, organized by the government of Bangladesh. Um, so I was a faculty for that course and uh, so those were really my teaching roles while I was in Bangladesh and then when I moved from my postgraduate, my PhD to Sydney because of my position there which is an academic position I have to teach so I have teaching responsibilities within my role uh, so you could potentially say what 12-15 years? I think my relationship with JPG dates back to almost the first year of JPG because I'm, I'm, I'm one of the first graduates of JPG so we have a very long-standing, very loving relationship I would say. Uh, so um, uh, when I look into my experience as a student of James P. Grant, I think um, JPG, the way I want to look at it is JPG, that, that 12 months at JPG was really the formative year for me. It changed my perspective. It did not change me, but it changed my perspective of how I looked into things. Uh, I got into a naive girl uh, when I walked into JPG, but I came out much matured, much independent, much stronger. And the biggest thing was a much better understanding of health. I think the biggest lesson uh, JPG gave me in terms of health is that health is really embedded in the socio economic and cultural disparities that we face within each community. So really it's all about the environment that we sort of grow up in. Health is not just health. And uh, JPG was a very diverse course. I've never, I even in my teaching roles in international settings, like I told you, I'm a faculty at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia, and it's one of the mega universities in the world. It's one of the top 50 universities globally ranked. So I teach Masters of Public Health there as well, but I've never, I'm yet to encounter such a rich course. Um, and it's rich for two, two things, rich because of the diversities of the students and rich because of the diversities of the faculty members. So, and uh, this is a course that, that, that brings together the perfect combination of theory and applied public health, which very rarely you see in any other global um, courses. So from that perspective, JPG was an enormously gratifying course for me. And now that I'm in a faculty position, I, I reflect on my learnings and I try to give it back to my students so that they also leave out with a similar experience. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, they enjoy the course. And I think the, the JPG provides that unique opportunities where students can learn so much from each other because they come from such a diverse background. So that's really their strength because public health is really about network. So. And and we, we hope that they will continue to nurture this sort of network and collaborations and take it forward beyond this 12 months course. So I think JPG in, in, in all, uh, all sort of um, aspects of public health, it's a very, very unique course and it's uniquely located in Bangladesh. You know, Bangladesh is a low middle income country with high disease burden of many common infectious and non-infectious diseases. But also Bangladesh has immense opportunity to do research and do primary data collection. It has Matla, which is like the jewel in the crown. It has BRAC. You know, BRAC has its health uh, workers in any part of the country, which gives us a unique uh, sort of platform to do research, to address health issues, raise health issues and all that. So yeah, I think JPG is very uniquely placed. My advice to young public health professionals of tomorrow is if you if you know the cause if you have the right cause in mind then keep pursuing because if you have it in you and if you push for it 
you will achieve the desired outcome that you want to do and you have to constantly challenge yourself and break the glass ceiling and um, and you have to test yourself you have to test society societal norms and you have to keep pushing because public health is complex it's complex it's it's demanding it's challenging and it's frustrating at the same time nothing happens very quickly but if you identify your cause keep fighting for it